Hey loves, Jay here with your mid-February reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, cross-watchers are also welcome. Keep in mind that this reading is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. You can take the parts that do resonate and apply it to your life however it fits, leave the rest for someone else. Your spirit message for the remainder of this month is not to rush in whatever this is that you have been trying to jump into spirit is asking you not to rush in this feels like an idle time for you and a time for you to take care of yourself so that's the most important thing not to rush in idle time and this is a time for you to take care of you your current energy is the nine of fire we're going to clarify each of these cards for you here gemini your advice for the month is the dreamer and we also have your final outcome for the month which is the sun. So we have two major arcanas that definitely feels like a progression as I'm looking at the nine goes into uh, the major arcanas, but definitely themes that are playing out. So not to rush into anything during this time. All right. So let's clarify each of these cards for you, Gemini. So this definitely feels like a, a draining, exhausting sort of energy that you keep putting in time, work and energy and effort into something or someone. This can resonate for you in a career, a project, a business that you have started, or in a relationship. That relationship can be romantic or platonic, meaning it could be a friendship, a family member. Um, it does not matter, okay? So Spirit is asking you not to give up. Although you're not needing to give up in this moment, this is a time for you to not rush in. Take your time. This is time for you to focus on yourself because you have been pouring into so many other things and so many other people. And Spirit is also asking you to, to, to protect that which you have created and have courage and believe in yourself in this time, okay? I'm feeling some of you have been struggling. You've been struggling lately, and I think we've for sure discussed that in past readings that things have been a little tough. Some of you have grown a little weary. Some of you are just exhausted. Some of you are wanting to give up, but don't give up right now, okay? This is not the time to give up. It's the time for you to keep pushing through, but not to rush into anything in this moment. Let's clarify this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's clarify this nine of fire. See what's coming up for you. We have the Three of Swords. So this is your energy here. Some of you have been feeling sadness. You've been feeling emotional pain. I'm hearing you have been in disbelief about something. We'll see what comes up for you in this. But this is something that has pierced your heart in some way. Whether you have lost someone to a relationship, you have lost someone to death, it definitely feels like an energy of pain in some sort of way pain that hurts the heart and it definitely feels like I'm feeling a very strong emotion that's coming up for you it definitely feels like whomever this person was that you may have been dealing with or whatever this was was very very near and dear to your heart and they made an impact on you in some sort of way um, I'm hearing things have come have come crashing down crashing down on you or just crashing down in general. And I feel that there is a lot of tears, a lot of fear that's coming up. I'm also hearing that some of you may have lost someone, a loved one close to you, like a, an elder, and you fear following in their footsteps when it comes to their health. Um, maybe there was something that I'm feeling like a genetic something, a genetic disorder or genetic condition in some sort of way that you feel that you you fear that you may develop. So it feels like that's weighing heavy on you. That's bringing you stress and anxiety. So some of you may be going to the doctor, getting checked out, things of that nature so that you can, uh, it's preventative care that you're uh, currently um, thinking of um, due to someone, you due to you losing someone in your life, okay? But again, it has been a long journey is what I'm hearing, but it feels like things are going to change at some point. The alchemist, this lets me know that you have the power to change whatever this outcome is, especially when it uh, revolves around your health. 
but also even if this has been a loss in a breakup or some sort, this you can change this. Again, remember this is idle time. So this is time for you to focus on you after whatever this is that you have lost. I'm going to pull one card on that. I mean, one more card. This one is a fly out of the deck. And this is double confirmation with the five of pentacles that there has been some loss and maybe even some health issues for some of you or someone around you has experienced health issues. The justice card is also here. Card of fairness. I'm hearing love. So this definitely feels like this is an opportunity for you to invest in yourself. Some of you, I'm hearing from her that you have been getting warning signs. So whatever signs you have been getting, Spirit is asking you to pay attention to that because they're not for nothing. Okay, so that's the current energy that some of you are in. It's experiencing loss, but knowing that you have the um, you have the power to change the outcome of whatever this is. And first, that begins with you doing your research, loving on yourself, engaging in acts of self-love and self-care. Filling up your cup, okay? Have fun is what I'm hearing. Let go of some of the, let go of the past, period. Let go of the past. Easier said than done, but some of you may need to um, seek advice from someone or connect with people who uplift your spirit, okay? I always, I always say, um, or I've been saying lately, I should say, um, we want to be, uh, we don't, we want to be, places where we're celebrated and not tolerated. So make sure that you're in a position to um, be celebrated in a room of people who love and care about you and want the best for you, whatever that is and whatever you had just gone through. The dreamer is showing up as your advice. This is self-explanatory for you to dream. And during this time, this idle time for you, this is a time to figure out what is it that you want. Some of you have a very clear vision about what you want for your life. But I'm also hearing there needs to be a little bit of a tweak. And and I don't know if it's because you're setting yourself up for something or I don't want to say you're dreaming too big. You're not dreaming too big, but I feel like you may have a plan in place for the dream. And Spirit is saying to let go of the plan and, and be in the flow of things. Okay, so... Um, this is a this is a card that in the traditional tarot the dreamer is the fool so this is a new beginning that is coming up for you so let's pull some cards around that you can also work with Archangel Metatron to uh, get some clarity around your journey and where you're where you're headed in which direction you should go in okay. We have the King of Swords, which is your energy. Making a clear plan. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. Making a clear plan. This is what I'm feeling from this. It, very interesting because it's like, I feel like this is your energy of saying, I have to make a plan. And then the dreamer is saying, you can go with the flow. So I think this is the, this feels like a plan to an extent. To, to an extent. Um, it doesn't have to be a full out plan, but this is just taking the first step, right? Taking the first step into the journey and trusting the process. And some of you may may decide to plan as you go as well. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right. So some of you may be in your heart space about something, not in your mind, or you're using too much or you're too much in your mind and not in your heart space, it feels like there is just an imbalance is what I feel here with this. So some of you may need to detach from something. I'm hearing discord. So some of you may need to detach from something or someone in some sort of way energetically because maybe it isn't serving the purpose and, or maybe it isn't serving the journey that you're heading on because it definitely feels like there's a new start that is coming in for you. Here, Gemini. We also have the Prince of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be someone that could be coming into your life, helping you, helping you with a vision, helping you with a plan, but also helping you and forcing you. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing to to what? How am I supposed to say? I just lost my train of thought. Forcing you to dream. Forcing you to dream because you are an air sign. You are a dual energy, and 
you can go back and forth logically, analytically, just trying to break everything down. And this is an energy of being in the flow. So maybe there is someone in your space or someone that is coming into your life. And Spirit is saying to listen to them. Listen to them. I feel like they speak to your heart in some in some way here, Gemini. And it definitely gives you the opportunity to open yourself up to something new, to this new journey. Ace of Pentacles is here. This is a new opportunity. This is a new start for you. A fresh start is what I'm hearing. This card is also about prosperous new beginnings or some sort of opportunity that you can be manifesting in, into your life. So again, it definitely feels like something new, but Spirit is asking you to be in the flow and to trust and to dream. So that is your advice is to dream during the remainder of this month. Dream about, dream about what you want your life to look like. Instead of focusing so much on the logistics of what you need to do next in order to make the dream come true, dream. Just dream. Okay? That's what I'm feeling here. So we have the Sun card coming up as your final outcome. And this is a happy outcome that is definitely coming up for you if you're following the advice. The advice is a suggestion to get you started on this new journey, but dreaming and being in the flow is going to give you a happy outcome here with the sun, okay? So I do feel like joy is on the horizon for you as well. And, uh, and being in this space allows you to open up to new ideas that will lead you to a successful outcome, whatever that outcome may be. And this is saying to have confidence in yourself. And it's it's been hard for some of you guys because you've been going back and forth in that du the dual energy, um, feeling up and down and, you know, just ebbing and flowing. And some of you are just have been feeling down for some, for some reason due to loss or just due to disappointment in your life. But there is a change that is coming for you, a new beginning. The number 19 breaks down to a 10, breaks down to a 1, a new start. So we move from zero to one, which is we move from the nine, which is the end of a cycle, move to zero, which was your advice with the dreamer, a new journey. And then this number one with the sun, happiness. OK, so this is like I said at the beginning, this is divine is a divine order for you, but this is divinely guided for you to be on a new journey, a new start. So whatever this is that you are wanting to manifest or been thinking about, it is definitely coming to fruition for you. And it's going to give you a successful outcome as well as a happy outcome. So we have the, the world card. Look, your life is changing. Some of you are going to be traveling more as well. But I do feel like this is for some of you, uh, those singles out there who have been want, looking for um, a love to share life with, I do feel like there's an opportunity for that. Whatever this, wherever your, your energy is, is, is focused, whatever the intention is, make sure that is, that's exactly what you want so that you can bring that to fruition. Right now, it seems like a very potent time for you to manifest something that you have been wanting into your life. So be very, very careful on what it is that you are pointing your energy towards because whatever you are for, whatever you are focusing on, you're going to bring that into your life, okay? So life is changing. And we also have two major arcanas here, the sun as well as the world card, okay? So a happy outcome in your life is on the horizon for you. And I feel like that's going to be happening for you sooner than later here, Gemini, which I love to hear because some of you have been down and out. Four of Wands, this is definitely revolved around celebration and happiness and building a foundation with someone. So I do feel like there is love on the on the horizon for you. There is a connection and a bond that you are going to be sharing with someone. This could be an engagement, a marriage, purchasing a home, or moving in together. So some of you are thinking about all of these things, all of the above. But I do feel like there's an opportunity for, for you to share share a moment with someone. Um, share a connection with someone and be able to share that in your community as well. So this is a desire to be grounded in your reality. Okay, so this means that the things that you have been thinking about and putting out there now becomes a reality for you. So that is definitely coming up for you. So your life is going to be changing 
when it comes to um, you and someone. Definitely a shift that is happening. And to bring in more happiness and have a successful outcome, you can work with Archangel Uriel for that. We have the Queen of Swords, your energy. I'm hearing, let me be me. So whoever this person is, it lets you be you. Okay, I do feel like they may be a dreamer. I'm feeling more of a watery energy for, for them, from them, but I do feel a really beautiful balance between the two of you here. And I do feel like you're in this place of letting your, your mind and your heart work in accordance. But in the center of that there, look at that. The life, your life is definitely changing. So someone is like treating you like the king or the queen that you are. And I do feel like it's almost like they're bowing down to you, but not in that way. It just feels like what you've been asking for is definitely coming to fruition. And they, they definitely treat you the way that you have been anticipating and the way that you treat them, it is reciprocated. So life is changing. Things are looking up for you. There's a happy outcome, a successful outcome that's on the horizon for you. You have to dream and be in the flow, okay? So that is your reading, Gemini. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of February. I will see you for March. Many blessings and love and light. Peace.